During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about what's the purpose of grass waterways. When you look at fields around the country, you may notice some different things going on out there. And one thing that is pretty common whenever you've got hilly fields is generally in the valley, you'll see a grass pathway for water to move. That's why we have grass waterways in many situations, just because of, well, there's gonna be a lot of water moving through that area, and if we wanna protect the soil, that's the best way to do it. So right behind us, for example, is a very small area where there are some hills. Okay, in that case, then drain tile usually works just fine. But the problem is if you have a tremendous amount of water, then it actually can cut through that soil. And that's typically where we're talking about grass waterways instead of drain tile. So where grass waterways are at, usually what we do with the drain tile is we'll stay outside the grass waterway by about five feet or so. So we kind of keep that water table down, which is great for the health of the grass waterway. But again, that grass waterway is there so it can catch all this massive flow of water that's going through the field. Usually only happens a few times of the year, but it really saves the farmer in the fact that usually that, that soil will end up at the bottom of the field. Then he has to bring it all the way back up into the field. It's a lot of work if you don't have the waterway. The other thing with the grass waterway is even if you've got drain tile, even if you're doing no-till and you're doing all these things right to protect the soil on those hillsides, there is gonna be a small amount of soil that is going to move when you get a lot of rain like that. So keeping that out of our rivers and streams and lakes is really important because the topsoil in many farms is pretty fertile. That's why we're, we're using it to grow good crops. So if you can catch that soil in the grass, on the way out of the field. That's a great thing for the farmer to maintain that soil at least somewhere in his field and keep it out of bodies of water. Yeah, and the waterway will also catch excess fertilizer or egg chemicals so they don't leave the field as well. So lots of purposes for that grass waterway and that's why you see so many of them around the country. Grass waterways are great for many reasons, but one thing that we have to watch out for in grass waterways is weeds that might like that type of environment as well. Our Weed of the Week is one example. Can you identify this week's weed?